Turning now to new developments after a shooting out of Northwest Charlotte. We first showed you this scene as breaking news this morning, and now people living in the area tell us a 15 year old shot his brother. It happened early this morning along Gum Branch Road, not far from I-485. Channel 9's Dave Faraday joins us now live from outside that home. Dave, do we know what may have led up to that shooting? Well, Madison, we did get a chance to talk with a, a friend of the family. He is telling us tonight that those two brothers had gotten into some type of argument just prior to that shooting. A neighbor described seeing the 15 year old being taken away from the home in handcuffs. For much of the morning, police cars were outside this home along Gum Branch Road in Northwest Charlotte. It was here police say one person was shot. Medic says they were rushed to the hospital with life threatening injuries. It's disgusting to say the least, it, it's sad. You know, they're at our back door. What if that bullet had to come through our house? Kim Tucker saw police responding to the home right next door. Channel 9 has learned from friends of the family that a 15 year old shot his brother in the abdomen after the two had gotten into an argument. We do not know how the teenager got access to the firearm and police are not confirming that the shooting involves two family members. Police were at the home for nearly three hours investigating today. Kim Tucker hopes the teenager and his brother will be all right. It's unreal the kids today hanging around with other kids that put them in this position. And a neighbor did tell us earlier that the older brother still hospitalized tonight in serious but stable condition. We did see police leaving with some evidence out of the home. I could not tell whether or not a handgun was included in some of the bags of evidence that they took here. Reporting live from Northwest Charlotte, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. I cannot imagine what that family is going through tonight. Dave, thank you.